Hello and welcome friends to the cloud computing tutorials and this is tutorial session number 4. So let us see what we are going to discuss today. We are going to discuss type of virtualization. See in the previous tutorials we have already studied the type 1 that was guest operating system virtualization and type 2 shared kernel virtualization. And now we are going to discuss the type 3 virtualization that is para virtualization. So what is para virtualization? See in para virtualization different guest operating system are aware that they are sharing hardware device as well as the host operating system. And to communicate with the shared hardware device each Guest operating system is modified with a driver. There is a driver at each guest operating system. This driver, driver is basically a software that allows the communication between the hardware and the respective guest operating system that is running on an individual or separate virtual machine. These drivers issues hardware commands to the host operating system and these commands are so called as the hypercalls. These hypercalls can be your memory management instructions, can be process management instructions, can be any system instruction, it could be input output instructions etc. The Guest operating system which is not modified cannot operate in the para virtualization system. So let us understand para virtualization with the help of this diagram. So in this diagram there is a shared physical hardware at the bottom upon which several modified guest operating systems are set up and to allow communication among the guest operating systems and the shared physical hardware device, there is a layer of hypervisor. Hypervisor is a software that allows the virtualization. Different modified guest operating systems directly communicate to this hypervisor layer and sends commands in the form of hypercalls. That hypervisor communicates with the shared physical hardware layer and hardware perform the operations, the respective processing operations and then issues the results to the hypervisor which in turn issues the results to the respective guest operating system or the respective machine. So this is the concept of para virtualization. See in para virtualization the operating system hypercalls are handled at the compile time and non virtualizable operating systems are replaced with the hypercalls. So this is the concept which plays an important role which plays a basic role in the case of para virtualization. The advantage of para virtualization is, is that it has lower overhead. Lower overhead means here the guest operating system are already aware that they are sharing the hardware as well as the host operating system. So they are already aware of the demands of the other guest operating systems which are running or sharing the same hypervisor and the physical layer. So here the task of hypervisor is somewhat reduced. So this physical hardware is taking or working at the hypervisor also so less processing power is required to run this hypervisor because the task of hypervisor is quite lesser as compared to the other type of virtualization. So let us uh, take up the examples of para virtualization. The various examples of para virtualization are Zen and Oracle Virtual Machine for x86 that is OVM and IBM etc. The limitation of para virtualization is that 
it cannot support unmodified operating systems which are not compatible with the respective hypervisor because each time whenever you will upload any operating system then you have to modify it you have to upload its driver also to help the communication to the hypervisor layer so this was all about para virtualization now let us start type 4 virtualization that is full virtualization so what is full virtualization see here the guest operating systems which are running individually in different virtual machines over a single hardware device are unaware that are unaware of the virtualized environment it means they are not aware of each other they are not aware that they are sharing the host operating system and the hardware system they think that we are the owners of the single hardware system or the bare metal hardware system so here the guest operating system uh, issues the commands directly to the hardware but basically what happens it sends commands to the simulated hardware device and this simulated hardware device is created by the hypervisor layer so let us see how it works see in full virtualization there is a hardware layer or a hardware device at the bottom and guest operating systems are set up at the top and to provide the communication between the hardware and the various guest operating systems inside various virtual machines there is a hypervisor layer in between and guest operating system issues their commands to the hypervisor layer here the hypervisor layer simulates the hardware device for each guest operating system different guest operating system issues the commands to the hypervisor layer as if they are directly communicating their separate hardware device so hypervisor takes up all the demands in the form of hypercalls from the different guest operating system and conveys these demands to the hardware hardware then performs or executes the tasks and issues the results to the hypervisor which in turn issues the results to the guest operating system so this is the case of simple uh, user operating user process or user application okay so here the guest operating system are working as user application works upon the host operating system but here the guest operating system tries to take up the more privilege rather than the user application level privilege in that case what happens guest operating system issues the privileged commands issues the privileged commands directly to the hardware and hardware conveys or sends the instructions some instruction to the hypervisor layer in the form of trap instruction to the hypervisor when the hypervisor receives trap instruction it emulates the hardware and works like a hardware for this guest operating system and whatever response is generated by the hardware is written up by the hypervisor layer so this is how the guest operating system runs the privileged instructions that are the system level instructions like input output instructions and memory management instructions etc so here the guest operating system directly communicate with the hardware by the strategy of trap and emulation hardware sends trap instructions to the hypervisor and hypervisor emulates the hardware device and 
presents the results to the respective guest operating system. This is how the full virtualization works and provides the independent communication between the guest operating systems and the bare hardware device. Basically, it is working upon the hypervisor one, that is the bare metal hardware device, because here the direct communication is provided between the operating system, guest operating system or the guest server and the hardware device. So let us compare these two type of virtualization that is full virtualization and para virtualization. See what happens in full virtualization. These are the guest operating systems or the separate um, virtual machine and user are working upon these uh, virtual machines running their several applications. And here the guest operating systems or the virtual machines can directly communicate to the hardware device by sending these privileged commands or the privileged instructions which are system level instructions. And to fulfill these instructions, to respond to these instructions, what happens? The hardware device generates the trap to the hypervisor and hypervisor emulates the hardware device and returns the Instructions the results to the respective guest operating system. And in the para virtualization, the guest operating system is modified with the driver. And driver provides the communication between the hypervisor layer. <coughs> Here, the guest operating system which are modified by the drivers communicate directly to the hypervisor and hypervisor in turn takes up the operations which are performed by the hardware devices and returns the results to the respective guest operating system. So here the hypervisor do not have much overhead because here the guest operating system are already aware that they are sharing the hardware device but here the guest operating system are not modified and they are unaware of each other so here the responsibility of hypervisor is much more and operating system and the hardware device has to reserve some processing power to run this hypervisor also so here the overhead of processing power in of, of processing in the hardware device is much more as compared to the para virtualization so friends, this was all about the full virtualization and para virtualization. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And soon I will upload another type of virtualization and more tutorials on cloud computing. So please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you and thank you for watching.